Hi and welcome to Wonderfrills and uh, today I'm doing a highly requested video which is a hundred and one things that make me happy. So this is going to be a list video where basically I list off all the things that I really like and really enjoy in life and I thought why not give it a go and I was supposed to do this video like last week but it actually took me that long to write out 101 things that weren't awful repetitive or very generic so these things are, are very personal to my own tastes and that so I hope you like it and I hope I don't bore you too much. So do you want to get started? Let's get started. Kittens, puppies, bunnies. Literally every single moment I spend with Phil, seriously, he is the light of my life which is very cheesy, but it's really true. Collecting My Little Pony. Watching Care Bears. Really, really roasting hot baths. Like the ones that you get into and you're suddenly a lobster. I love those. It, it's not a bath or a shower until my skin is peeling off. 80s pop and rock. Going to the cinema and seeing new movies in the cinema. Anything that is holographic. I absolutely love that aesthetic. Getting sent pictures of my nephew Ezra. Books with maps in the front. Seriously, it's always a good book when there's a map in the front. Learning random facts. The wholesome memes page on Facebook. It's so nice. <laughs> the sound of rain while I'm trying to sleep in bed. It is so soothing and so relaxing. It's honestly one of my favorite things. Travel, just travel in general. Just traveling anywhere at all times by all means. Disney movies. Seeing merch in particular of Basil the Great Mouse Detective, it always warms my heart because he's he's an unliked Disney character as such. He's not from the golden age, so you wouldn't see much merch of him. So when I do, it really just warms the cockles of my heart. I love it. My friends sending me random memes. Having tea in the tea gardens in Dublin, it's just so fun. Shopping in lush and lush products. Sitting by rivers and the sound of rivers. I really like camping. Really bad, terrible J horror. Like Robo Geisha level bad. It's it's just <sighs> watching anime of all kinds. Going to conventions of said anime. Cosplay and wearing costumes. Wearing Lolita and going to our Lolita meets with my comp. The smell of fresh cut grass. Arts and crafts as a whole. Taking pictures for Instagram. Getting my picture taken in Lolita and for Instagram. This is a really specific one. Things shaped like other things. Like a lamp shaped like an ice cream or a tape dispenser shaped like a frog. I just, I just love it. Like pens that are bananas, just, I, I just love things that are shaped like other things. It's, I've always loved that. <laughs> things that light up or are glow in the dark. The My Little Pony collectors community, especially on Facebook, they're so nice. If you have a grail pony, they will help you find it. It's it's really sweet. Making people laugh and doing stand-up. Selling my artwork at conventions. When people at said conventions compliment my art. The glory of face masks. Ah, oh. <laughs> My mother sending me memes. <laughs> she does it on Facebook every now and then and it just, it is so fun that I'm like, oh, who sent me messages on Facebook? And then it's suddenly my mother sending me Pepe. <laughs> Doing cross stitch and stitching and that sort of craft, I really like. Going to musicals. <gasps> Going to ballets. Watching really old cartoons from like the 80s and 90s, like Animaniacs and Dexter's Laboratory and things like that. It's just all of the nostalgia. I have absolutely no shame in this. Hentai. It is the funniest shit. I love talking about it, I love watching it, I love collecting it. It is just gas. And it's not for any reason you'd think it would be for. I just find it some of the most surreal thing ever. Like it's a medium where anything can happen and I really like that for its campiness and ridiculousness and not for anything sexual. I literally just find it hilarious. So it's it's one of my favorite things. Going out to lunch when I'm at home with my mom, it's uh, every time I'm down, uh, we try to go out to lunch and I really enjoy just one-on-one -on -one time with my mom because we're very close so it's one of my favorite things to do when I'm down. Poi. Watching it and performing it. Watching fireworks. 
Meeting voice actors at conventions. I've met nearly all of the Full Metal Alchemist voice actors, so that's definitely on my bucket list is to meet them all. And it's always something that really warms my heart when I get to meet them at cons. It's like one of my favorite things to do when I'm at cons. And I'd specifically go to com certain conventions just to meet these people. So it's a fairly big thing that makes me very happy. Becoming a Pokemon master, both in the games and in Pokemon Go. <laughs> Although with Pokemon Go it's incredibly hard to become a Pokemon master, but I'm trying! Glittery makeup. Waifus and Daki Makaras. I plan on having a very large collection of waifus. Online shopping. It is my downfall. <laughs> Surprise money. When you think you're absolutely broke and then you just go down into a bag you haven't used in ages and then suddenly there's a fiver and you're like, yay! Surprise money! I'm gonna go like buy a Chinese or something. It Surprise money. Speaking of, Chinese food. Beauty and the Beast merch. In particular, Mrs. Pots and Chip. I have an entire shelf that is just Pots and Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Pots and Chip in various iterations. I, I love it. Retro games like the old Super Marios, like the really first Resident Evil and things like that, which wouldn't necessarily be considered retro, but from like when I was a kid and when I first started playing games, I really loved them. In particular, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. I was bad at both of them, but I really loved them. Anything My Melody and Sanrio. We're really lucky that when we're going to Japan in November, we're actually going to Poro Land and I cannot wait. Amethysts and amethyst crystals of all forms. I have a lot of crystals just dotted around the house. I, I think they're awesome. Making lists of things, if you haven't noticed. Watching PT Ken on Twitch playing Mario Maker is one of the most relaxing things ever. It is so funny and it's just really good to work it and have that playing on in the background and you just zone out and you get your work done and then you laugh at what he's going on about. It's, uh, it's a very good pastime of mine when I'm in work. <laughs> Playing Skyrim. Seriously, I am the Dovahkiin. Puns. Just puns. Surrealism in art and movies and basically all facets of life. I love surrealism. I love the creativity behind it and just the mad shit that happens to it. It's just... I love it so much. In particular surrealist movies like say something like Mirror Mask. I just... I love it so much. My whole life is just surrealism. My friend Fee and the Yuri on Ice porn she sends me on Twitter. I told you you'd be in here, dear. <laughs> Terry's chocolate orange. Despite being allergic, I'll still eat it. It's too good. Slots. Unicorns and rainbow aesthetic. Listening to life stories of people. Life stories in books or in movies or even just listening one to one to somebody when they're telling me all of their life stories and all of the really cool stuff that they've got to do in their life. I think that is awesome. And it's kind of why I like certain movies like Forrest Gump and Memoirs of a Geisha that are kind of life story-esque. That uh, I just really love hearing good stories of lives well lived. Despite being an absolute Freddy cat, roller coasters, baking. I love baking, tattoos, and getting tattoos. Drawing nudes and nude still life. Simpsons memes. Ordering the same chicken roll for six years. I have had the same lunch every day for six years and I love it and I will go in every day unashamedly getting the same thing to the point that the server lady is just like, oh, you want your usual? And it's like, why, yes, I do want my usual. Steampunk really like steampunk and the idea behind it uh, it's not really what I'd wear myself but I love looking at it and reading steampunk stories and playing steampunk games and looking at the clothes and everything I just think it is so cool crazy conspiracy theories like the queen being a lizard lady I absolutely love it the crazier the better like Beyonce giving birth from her armpit just crazy but it's awesome. The only one that is not awesome is the earth being flat. That is a lie. Planning myself and Phil's wedding. We're getting married on the 20th of July next year and it's really all I've been doing at the moment is wedding planning and working and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I really love it. It's working out a lot easier than I thought it would be. Just wedding planning seems to be something I'm quite good at and I really like it. So wedding planning. Fake flowers. This is a bit of a weird one. 
I don't really like it when people give me real flowers because I'm afraid that they're gonna die and then I'll feel sad that I don't have them anymore. So whenever Phil buys me flowers or if anybody buys me flowers, they're always the synthetic ones or the plastic ones. So they'll last forever and I'll have them by my bed and just get to look at them whenever I want and they'll always be there. I still have the first bouquet of flowers Phil ever bought me because they were synthetic flowers and uh, I love them to bits, it's something really nice that I hold on to. Owls, in general. Old Irish fairy tales, ones of like banshees and leprechauns and fairy rings, I think they're so cool and it's something that makes me very proud to be an Irish person and to be from Ireland is just learning our very extensive mythology, it's mythology in general leading on from my last one, uh, things like Norse mythology and Greek mythology. I actually have a diploma in classical mythology so uh, yeah it's definitely something that I get great joy out of. Learning about science and random scientific facts, particularly about biology, I find it fascinating. Backpacks in random shapes, like I have a bunny backpack, so yeah, bunny backpacks. Historical dramas, fairy lights of all kinds. The Guardians of Gahul books, cause they are my favorite books ever, and uh, I've reread re them several times, and they're like the Lord of the Rings but with owls. The movie was absolutely dreadful, but the books themselves, they're just, they hold a very special place in my heart. I love them. Neil Gaiman, as a whole, he is an amazing writer and I'd literally read anything that man produces. Halloween, Amsterdam as a city, it is just fantastic. You know, like I hear people give out about it because of like the drugs and like prostitution and stuff like that but the city as a whole, it is beautiful. The people are lovely. It is just so cool being there. And I can't wait to go over cause we're probably going over for New Year's to visit my brother and my sister-in-law, my nephew. So I can't wait to go again. It is just awesome and it's a really cool city. If ever you get the chance to go, I highly recommend it. It is awesome. Going to museums. I regularly, myself and Phil, just pop into the art galleries and museums in Dublin just because they're there, they're free and you never know what you'll learn in them. Trying weird food like kangaroo and ostrich and that time I ate beaver. Yes, beaver. Dubstep and classical music mixed. Stuff like Lindsay Sterling. I absolutely love the sound of the violin and I really like dubstep because it people give out about dubstep being all synthetic and stuff but the effort that goes into producing that music you have to know what every sound will sound like together so it's a bit like composing an orchestra so I really like the mix between classical music and dubstep particularly together it just it works really well and it very much pleases my ears watching doll customizing videos on YouTube in particularly delightful uh, she's really awesome. I've been watching her evolution series at the moment and uh, it's just really chill to just sit down and watch her do some customs. It's awesome. As a Lolita, getting new brand. Just the smell of new brand when it arrives at your house is that mm. writing with quills and quill pens with the ink and calligraphy. I'm currently writing a comic and I get great pleasure from that. So working on the comic is definitely uh, a thing that brings me a lot of joy at the moment and I cannot wait for it to actually be out. I'm hoping for it to be out in the next while. So fingers crossed. Vintage tea parties and high tea, particularly when I'm in Lolita. Reading in bed. Whenever I have a book, I love to read it, particularly when I'm in bed, just being all warm and cozy with a cup of tea, just getting into a really good book. Massages, ah, oh, and spa days. I particularly like it when you like and subscribe this video. I really love doing YouTube and it's really fun and I hope to be doing it for a very long time. So it's definitely something that I really, really enjoy. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I've recently reached over 200 subscribers. So that's an awful lot for only putting out a video every now and then. So thank you so much, guys. I really hope that you like this video. So like and subscribe, as I said, and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.